in front of us we have got a an object we have to draw the front view top view and right side view in third angle orthographic projection okay so now i have already drawn the picture you just see how it looks like you see here this is if i did not do complete dimensioning you can always do it yourself see you have got different view top view and right side view okay see the dimensions have been done the drawing is really not that big it's a simple drawing only so what i have done is i have created certain number of layers actually see here i will open the layer control you can see here you have axis you have def points dimension drawing hidden and projection lines def point is something which is created by the computer itself and you should not do any drawing on that layer okay so this is that so what i have to do i have to first create a file with proper units and proper limits after that what i have to do is i have to make the drawing okay so now let us try to start it with a new drawing i will open a new file this is only to show you now here you can see you have got the uh, hidden lines also and then in the front also you can see hidden lines for the holes okay and in the side i have not done the dimensions anyway dimensions are an easy part you can do it okay so now first let me go and open a new file i am opening a new file now in this new file first let me go and put uh, units u n i t s let me type units now see precision is very high let me reduce it to 0.0, .0. and the this one is inches let me change it to millimeters okay done now i will type limits okay i will type limits and go how much initial is zero zero now you see here it is showing 12 and how much nine. so i will take it as 150 comma 150 other one okay so i will take on this one <coughs> now z enter a enter so everything is ready make sure you are uh, switching on the ortho mode and you are switching on the uh, dynamic input okay from whichever side you want you can start let us try to start from the top okay top view what are the things you see in the top view see what is the thickness the thickness is 25 here you have 20 45 total is 85 here okay so what I will do, I will draw a line now, see here, I will just draw a line, 85, enter, go up, 25, enter, from like this it is 20, enter, then again up, 10, enter, 25, enter again come down it is 10 enter we take 25 i think it did not take 25 just a minute let me just delete this and redo it so from here from here i'm coming like this this is how much let me just go and check it is how much 20 okay 20, 45, 20, okay. This is 20. Enter, then I have to go up. Come out, I have to go up. 10. Then again, I will come like this. 45, enter, then come down. This is again 10, enter, then go like this. 20, enter, now I will come down and Sorry, something went wrong here. <clears throat> I have to type it between this line and this line. Including. This is what I am seeing from the top. Okay. And then what else I see? Let me come over here. I have got this lens also. See here, how much is this? This is 70. Just follow the arrow of my mouse. This is 70. And then here you have got another one. 30 is it not 70 plus 30 is 100 100 nagas 
25 is how much? 75. This is how much? 15. Okay. Let us just go back here. What I will do? I will draw a line. From where I will draw? I will draw a line from here. Come down how much? 75. Enter. Come like this how much? Hamstash, I think. Let me just check how much is that. Hamstash, yes. Hamstash. Hamstash. Enter. Okay. Then again. Sorry. It did not take Hamstash. It actually takes something more. Let me just do it again. I will anyway close it. This is how much this is. 85 enter and then I will go up and close at this point enter okay and then again what I have to do now if it be there whatever other things are there we will do it because we, we from the top we see many other things also see here from top if you come here I have to create a cut also for this this is how much this is 15 this is how much this is also 15 where this line will come, this line exactly, I don't know, because there is a inclined line here, okay. So you can get that one from our side view. We will see it afterwards, okay. <laughs> and here he is providing me what, this width is how much, this width is 55, okay. All those things we will see from the side view afterwards, right, <clears throat> okay. Now let us just go to the... Uh, so all these drawings, where did we do? See all these drawings, I have done it unfortunately on zero layer. I will just click, highlight everything. Just go here. Oh, I have to create layers, is it not? I didn't create. Let me create layers. I will create a layer D, W, G. Okay. So I will create one more layer. I will call this layer as projection. Okay, for projection layer, I will change the color. I will make it this color okay and then I will create one more layer this is dimension layer dimension layer I will change the color to some other color let us say yellow color okay <coughs> for the time being let me have only this much afterwards I will do other layers right. so now I am here <coughs> now what I will do I will just go to projection layer and let's go to projection. I will start drawing some lines. Okay. First, what I will do, I will draw a polyline which will be very close here. Click here and then type W. Enter. Write 0 0.5 as thickness. Enter. Again, enter. Then click somewhere here. This is enough, I think. Then let us just go up a little bit like this. And then press tab so that you change the angle 45. Enter. Okay. Enter. So this is for you to another polyline. You can just put it over here. Just to show that um, you are doing a third angle projection. Enter. Okay, so <coughs> where is all this? This is all in uh, projection layer. Now what I will do, I will start drawing lines now because I am on projection layer. So I will just start drawing lines from the, from the end points. Let me just go over here. End point is selected, intersection is there, quadrant I don't need, I will remove. Okay. See from here I just come click. Along. From here come and click. One more line from there. From here come and click. Uh, repeat line <coughs> from here command click ok now let us try to uh, remove all these extra lines what are we which we don't need anyway just go and click them all of them out ok so this will give us a boundary actually right, let us just come down from here like this <coughs> repeat line Okay, 
now again let us go from here also from there from this point let's just go down repeat line from here go down <coughs> repeat line go down then again another line repeat from here go down okay so these are all your projection lines because we are on the projection layer okay now let us just try to go here change it to drawing layer okay on the drawing layer let's try to draw the lines here just draw lines just a line like this it can be a now what is the height of this one just go and check the height the height is 100 and 80 is it 180 let us try to just offset by 180 and then we will have it here offset by 180 and which one you have to offset you have to offset this one by 180 okay okay my god it's going down a lot okay no problem it will be there okay now what is the next job? The next job is first let me make it a little bit up. I will move them a little bit up so that they intersect with all <coughs> lines actually. So now see, let me go to the side view. In the side view, what you have got now, the thickness is there. This is already done, and then uh, what else is there? From the this end, it is. 70 and it is 30 is it okay so what is the height from the bottom the height from the bottom is 45 okay so now what i will do is i will offset by 45 what i have to offset i have to offset this line by 45 very good then the second line i have to offset by how much 70 offset by 70. See here, I have 70. Is it not the second line? Okay. So, offset by how much? Did I say offset by 70? Enter what I have to offset the second line. I have to offset by 70. Okay. Enter. So now I have got a center point here with this as the point. I will draw a yeah. <coughs> circle of radius how much circle of radius which is that line this is the line is it not 70 line is here with this radius should be how much 30 okay so now what can i do now just let's again go back to our drawing here see what is this height this height is 90 is it not from 90 i have to draw a line like this so that it is tangent to this circle okay so now i will just go here i will offset by 90 enter which one should i offset this top line i should offset by 90 here see i'm offsetting by 90 now i will draw all my lines here now see this is one of my line i will come up to this point okay from this point i have to draw a line here which is tangent let me just go here just write tangent okay and let me open it a little bit i will come here i will make it tangent see that tangent. and then again <coughs> another line from where from here it has to come here as tangent enter now what i should do i should remove the inside one i will just delete this delete this okay enter now remember i am on the drawing layer don't forget that from here just go finish up to this point enter then i have one more from where from here to here to here 
So see, almost many of the things are done over here now. Let me just make it a little big and something is here which I need to remove because we have drawn tangent. Okay. So now let me make it a little small. Check me what I have to do. I have to make a hole inside. What is the diameter of the hole? The diameter of the hole is 30. The diameter of the hole is 30. Okay. Let us just go over here. Make the diameter of the hole, take this one, diameter of the hole as 30. Okay, this is done now. So then again, there is another line over here. See, here he says from the center, this distance is 20. We don't see this. We can uh, draw a line in the side view, the center line. What I will do is I will offset by 20 enter what i will offset i will offset the center line here see enter now you have something over here which is hidden line actually okay what i need to do from here i need to draw a uh, sorry let me go to position here first because i want the best position lines so what i will do now i will just go draw a line here see this is one solid line you will see actually if you cannot draw a thing in the front straight away, you need time for that, okay? Then, uh, what do you call the right side you need for that? You make it a little big and thin. What is that? It is here, is it? It is here. I have to go like this. Like this, okay? Now let me make it a little big and whatever extra things are there, let us just get rid of them. Okay. Enter. So now let us come to the front view. Let us just close the. Uh, let's go to drawing now. Okay. Now let us just try to close the projection. Now see here when you close the projection, you see all your lines over here, isn't it? So there are certain lines here. These lines also we will send them to projection line. Projection lines. Just click on all of them. Okay, escape. Let me just click on all these lines. Just go here to the layer. Just click on the position. See, everything is gone now. Is it not? Escape. See? Escape. Now see that? Did they go or no? I think they did not go. Let me just send them again. We condemn, just take it to projection. Okay. Now, see, I have switched on the projection, projection layer also so that uh, all the lines are seen there. Now, what I will do now, now I have to draw the front view. Frank, let me draw the front view. I will, I should be on DWG layer. Come here, click on this. Here, you can come down up to this point, then go up to this point. Go up, complete, and then. and then what are the other things you see? You see, <coughs> see here, you see these thicknesses, you see, you see this line, you see this line, is it? No. Again, in the bottom also, you see the lines. Now, let us just go back. I will just draw this line from this intersection to this intersection, enter, then again I will see one more line, repeat line, which line, that is this line from here to here, okay, then you will come down up to this point, then you will go here, you will see up to this point also, enter, then you have repeat line, from here to here you will see a row, enter and then you see one more line. Where do you see that? You see from here to here you see another line. Okay. So these are the lines you are seeing. Now let me just close my projection lines. See? 
when you are closing your production lines, what are the things you see, you see all this stuff. I have these lines also, let me just uh, transfer them. This one, I will just take them and put them where I will put them in. Okay. Now see. Now something was missing, one line was missing here. Let me just do it here. Enter. And then here, you have a beautiful finishing. Now what I have to do in the front view, I have got to draw a hole also. And then in the top view, you will get the dotted lines. And again in the side view also you will get the dotted lines. If you do that, your drawing is almost finished now. Okay. So hidden line also we need. So did we make a hidden layer? We did not do it, I think. First let us make the hole in the front. Let's go here and see. There is a hole in the front. 50 diameter, depth is 10. And then another hole is 20 diameter bore. And then there is a, it is through hole. Okay. So let us make. What is this size? This is uh, this is 42. So let us offset our projection line by 42. What I will do is I will just go here. I will go to projection line. I will switch them on. Make them little big. I will offset. Offset by how much? 42. What I am offsetting? I will offset my projection line. Okay. Sorry. What happened to this? Is it locked? Let me just go and see. See, this is locked, please unlock it. By mistake it was locked. Offset by 42. Enter. What I have to offset? I have to offset this line. I will come down. Okay. So now what I have to do now? I have to create a circle on this one. On this one I have to create a circle. Okay. So how do I create a circle? There are different ways because here I have to locate the midpoint. I will show you one way of locating the midpoint. So just go draw the circle click on this one so it is asking you locate the center what do you do is you press shift right click mid between two points you select it just go select this point and sorry where is that this point and this point see that it is coming okay what is the bore now? You see it is 50, is it now? The diameter is 50. See. Enter. Okay. And then I need to draw one more circle. What is the diameter of the other circle? Ashreen, I think. Yeah, Ashreen. I will draw another circle. From where? From the center, is it? Now just go here, select center. Okay, so you have this hole in the front. So again in the side and top by drawing the projection lines, it is very easy for us to make what? To make the hidden lines. Okay, first let us draw, let us change over to projection. Let us change over to projection. Let us just draw the lines, you know, projection lines from there. Let me just go here, select quadrant. Just draw lines here. Why? Then you have repeat line from there. From this point, go straight. Enter. Repeat line. From here, you come. Enter. Then one more. Repeat line. From here, come. Enter. Okay. So you have all this. Again, now for the top also, let us just do it. Okay, so how I do here, let me just make it a little big, will it work, yeah, so let me just take it down, okay, from where, just go up a little bit, enter, another line, enter, go up, then another line from there, from here go up, another line, repeat line. Only what you need is you need only the you need to focus correctly. Don't uh, 
lose your focus. If you don't lose your focus, you will do your job perfectly okay. Right. So for this circle, I am already here now. So what I will do now, I will just go to my hidden layer. It is hidden. I don't have a hidden layer here. Let me create a hidden layer. So what I will do, I will just keep on uh, DWG and then I will create a layer here. See? So it will create a layer. Now I will say hidden lines. It's IDDEN. Hidden. So I will change the color just for the sake of uh, understanding. I will change the color. Okay. So now I'm there. So what is the next job now? The next job is draw the uh, just change to hidden layer here on top. Now I'll draw lines. Lines from where? Okay. From here, I have to go up. How much I should go up? Ashara, because he say only 10 deep. Okay, Ashara. Then come here like this. Where I will come, I will come to. The, uh, it is going to end point. Please be very careful. Okay. So, what was the diameter? The diameter was 50. So I will just type 50. Enter. Then I will come down how much? Ashara. Okay. Then escape. Then again, here I need the remaining depth. From here I will go up to this point. Enter. Then another line. From here up to this point. Enter. Okay. We will change the properties of the hidden lines later. First, let it be this color. Okay, so you are there on the top view, is it not? So now, if you want, what can you do? You can just come down here, go to your dive projection. This one, come from here, just draw a line like this, then. Another projection line from here, just come down. Hey, where it is going? Oh my God, it is going to the end point. Let me just delete this. Take from where? Take from here. Just draw a long line like this. Okay. Z enter, E enter. If you do, it will come and fix your screen now make it little big now again you change over to hidden layer and the color is changed now see here come from the top from this point to this point to this point to this point. enter then another line from where from here up to here enter another line from where from here to here it is enter okay so now on this side also you finished now let us just go a bit up and make here also <coughs> i will change to projection sorry the color is okay there should not be any problem let us just change to projection layer draw lines from projection lines from where from here just draw straight lines Repeat line again from where? From here you draw another line here. Okay, so now here come on this side. Now just go back to your hidden layer. Just draw lines now. In the front, see? This is one line. This is another line. Then this is another line this is another line okay so this you have now what you can do similarly you can just go to projection do it projection lines from where the laptop is heating up that's why it is there uh, unfortunately giving me trouble And then you have one more line from where from here you can just go up from 
from here see and now again you go back to your hidden layer now just check what are the information i need to do now i have to draw a line here from this point to this point center another line from this point to this point enter one more line from where from here to here enter one more line from where from here to here enter okay now what i will do is i will just go here switch off all layers now see here i don't want prediction layers I don't want drawing also. Just see here. Drawing layer also I will switch off. Okay. Now see. Now I will just come to hidden layer. Now I will just go switch off my drawing layer also. Now see. <coughs> and this def layer also will switch off now what are the things you see you see only the <coughs> hidden layer is it not what i will do now i will just select everything like this now i will right click go to properties here my line type is how much one is the scale i will make it 0 0.25 okay when i do this 0 0.3 took ok no problem because my precision is only one decimal so it took it escape, escape now see click here now right click 0 Okay, I will make it zero point two. Now I will just go switch on all my layers. Okay, projection also, this one also, drawing this also. Just switch off projection layers. See, there are certain lines missing somewhere because they were drawn on what they were drawn on. Uh, unfortunately, which, uh, which layer? Let me switch it on. See here. They were drawn on this. Let me just close this layer and make lines here. Okay. Let just go to DWG. Enter. Put line. Enter. Okay. So whatever extra is there, I will just delete it out. Okay, now see here, you have got the complete. You have got the complete drawing. Front view, top view, side view, everything is there. Okay. So these lines are seen like this. Okay. So possibly just let me. I just see this one as yeah, it's fine. Okay, one of Z enter E enter. Now, see if I close the projection lines, everything I am seeing here, and of course, you need to make a, another a set of hidden lines for the back side. So, let me switch on the projection. What I will do, I will go to from here. Where is your top? Your top is here, right? I will draw a line from where from this one. I have to go down up to what point? Up to this point, enter. Then I need to create one more line. I need to create one more line from where shall I create? See it is here. 
from here to here. So these lines are what lines? These lines are hidden lines. Oh, okay. So I did not change the line type. Let me go here to hidden. See hidden. I have a continuous line. Understand? Just go click here. Load hidden lines. Understand? Now just click on this one. Say okay. Right? Now you see the lines will be all hidden lines. Now let me just uh, uh, close my projection. See that? Beautifully you see everything, is it not? So hidden lines are there. All information is present over here now. See? So now what is the next job? Go to the di dimension stage, I mean dimension um, layer and then make the dimensions for this drawing. Okay. I will not uh, do the dimension and show you because the video will become very long. Okay, Shabab, I hope you will do that.